What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. The market got destroyed today as there was selling pressure all across the board. In this video, we're going to explain what's going on right now and the best moves to make for the coming future. There's a lot going on right now, and there's a lot of volatility, especially to the downside. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of today's video. We have a lot of great information. But, Tom, it seems like Almost any stock you look at today had a lot of selling pressure coming in. What's going on right now? Yeah, there's just a lot of selling pressure that came into the market today. It looks like the S&P 500 took a huge tumble in the middle of the day. The same thing happened to the Dow and the QQQ as some of these big tech stocks really sold off, Mike. We saw some of the bigger stocks in the market like Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, you name it. A lot of stocks were down today. We did see some sectors in the green like airlines because Delta reported some decent earnings this morning, but we can see they even started dipping off at the end of the day as the spy really dragged everything down. And Mike, I really think it was the tech stocks weighing on the market. And then also we've just had all this crazy inflation data coming out yesterday morning. Powell spoke the day before and said the Fed would start using their tools to try to combat inflation. So it's definitely been an, a very very interesting week. And there's just so many catalysts weighing the market down right now. I felt like that we just double topped up here around this resistance at 472 and just took a big tumble. Yeah, I think you hit it right on the head. There, you know, there were a couple catalysts throughout the week, but the main thing are just these tech stocks just getting destroyed. Like, let's take a look at Apple. It took a huge hit today. It was down like 2%, but check out Microsoft though, because that one was a lot worse. So Microsoft was down almost 4.5%. At the same time, Tesla was down pretty big and nvidia so like if we looked at tesla really quickly or nvidia is down five percent and then how about that tesla action down seven oh, percent so when these tech stocks are down huge like this it just has a horrible effect on the market overall and it kind of just eliminates all the positive momentum in even like other areas of the market yeah, it really does. That that type of momentum really uh, starts going to the downside. Like we always say, Mike, the, the stock market takes the staircase up and the elevator down. And whenever we get these bad down days, sometimes it just erases, like, for example, like the whole week's worth of movement pretty much for Tesla. We had a pretty good week going and, you know, we just gave all the gains back. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, not good to see. And whenever this momentum starts going, it just really starts accelerating. And then it trickled into even the growth sector. Mike, we have some of these huge stocks that everybody loves, like AMC moving to the downside. Definitely not good to see that. We have GameStop not down quite as much, but they're also down 4.36%. This just, it seems like these hype stocks in the growth sector just cannot get any good momentum here. Yeah, it's been pretty rough lately. And I know we had a wild week and we're not set to end on like a easy uh, day we can say, because I know there's a couple big earnings tomorrow as well. Yeah, these earnings are going to be huge tomorrow. Just like we've been talking about all week, there's some huge bank earnings here. Uh, tomorrow before open, we're going to have JP Morgan, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo all reporting. Those are three pretty big banks. Next week, we're going to have even more. But man, to end the week with JP Morgan, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo reporting is pretty big. And I will say the banks have been doing fairly well, and they even held up pretty well today. We can see JP Morgan was pretty much unmoved, ended up negative 0.12%. Didn't have too much movement today ahead of these earnings, but I will say they've been going up for the past couple of weeks in a pretty strong way. Yeah, but you know how that market is, Tom. Like if there's a ton of selling pressure with, let's say, Apple and Microsoft and even other stocks, even if these bank stocks report amazing earnings, we might just see like uh, no movement or even potential downwards movement. Yeah, definitely. That's going to be a big thing to look at because like you said, that overall movement of the market is going to definitely dampen, I think, the movement with these banks. And even if the earnings are good, Mike, for example, we I think in my opinion, we might see JP Morgan make new highs in the morning, but you know, instead of rising maybe four or five percent, we might only get like a two or three percent pop out of the stock. You know, if the market was green, we might see a, a bigger move. Yeah, so we shall see. There's definitely a lot going on right now. But with that being said, let's shout out our member of the day, which is Simp. So huge shout out, Simp. Thanks for being a great, great member of the Discord. You've been on fire lately with all of your plays, and you're really helping everyone out. So huge shout out, Simp. I know you're doing a lot of great work, and you've been with us for a while, and we really appreciate all you do. And I know that you've been on fire lately, so definitely keep it up. 
And with that being said, Tom, let's get right into these momentum plays for tomorrow. And with the first one, we have Disney to the downside. Yeah, with Disney, go ahead and make them break below this 155 support down here. I feel like if they break 155, we might have a pretty good move to the downside. Now, there is another small support around 154.50, but I feel like if we break 155, it might start accelerating. Sounds great. With the next one, we have Apple also to the downside. Yeah, this one's actually at a pretty big support here around 172. Go ahead and make them break below 171.75. All right, with the last one, we have a VXX to the upside. Man, this play today was awesome, Mike. VXX had a pretty explosive day. Go ahead and make them break out above $19 tomorrow morning, but that bot play was amazing today. Let's showcase that bot play. So we can see this morning our bot called out VXX, 18 strike calls for next week's expiration out at $78 each. A couple hours later, it went all the way up to highs of $147 each. So that was an amazing play by the bot. Um, once the call out was alerted, it popped by 88.46% in a couple hours. So if you trade options, Definitely check out that first link in the description and the comments down below. We have a coupon running. You get access to daily option swing trades, day trades, a great community, and a bunch of custom bots. Uh, like I said, you get access to our bot as well and calls out options day trades every single day. And it does pretty dang well. As we can see, today's play popped by 88.46%. So definitely check it out. And then just back to those momentum plays really quickly. So we are watching a VIX for a potential day trade to the upside tomorrow, only if it breaks above the levels Tom listed. And we are watching Disney and Apple for potential day trades to the downside tomorrow, only if it breaks below the level Tom listed. But with that being said, Tom, let's get right into these comments from the previous video. And with the first comment, we have Raymond saying PayPal is looking weak again. Uh, buy protective puts with the question mark. So it's not a bad strategy. We're seeing a lot of selling pressure um, across a lot of different stocks right now, especially in that tech sector. So especially if you have shares, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Uh, just make sure you have time. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a pretty good... Uh thing I think to do for the longer term, but in the short term, it looks like they're going all over the place, Mike. You know, PayPal's getting really close to this huge support down here around 175. If we break that, I could see it going lower in the short term, but I'm really hoping it starts to hold up sometime soon. Yeah, we'll see. It's tough. Like it depends where your like cost basis is for your shares, but I would say with everything going on, I don't think it's a bad idea to get some protective puts because you know when you have companies like Microsoft down four percent and the market's just getting destroyed, it's like it gets pretty scary. Yeah, it does. And I feel like PayPal being right at support, like if we start to break below, you know, that's gonna be huge, I think, for those puts. So definitely watch it and you know, with it being right on support, it's definitely not a bad idea, Mike. And, you know, I don't know the, the exact cost of these puts, but, you know, I'm eyeing up the PayPal chain for February and at the money, you know, you can get some puts for around $800, maybe 900. So I feel like it's a, it's a fairly decent price considering uh, the cost of shares. For sure. All right. And then we have uh, Lee saying, or uh, just asking about Alibaba. So this stock has been doing pretty well over the past couple of weeks. Normally when the U.S. market falls, um, Alibaba rises at least over like the past year or so. Um, but with that being said, it did take a little bit of a hit today. I do like it at this price point, but it's more of like a play for like the next couple months or so. Yeah, definitely. It could definitely uh, consolidate down here for a while. It's been, it's also been down here for a while. You know, we've been kind of bouncing around 110 to, you know, around 140 for the past couple months. And if we can break back up above this 140 resistance, I would really love Baba to the upside, but it looks like we bounced off this resistance to the downside. So until we break back above 140, I probably won't look at it for too much momentum, but I'm definitely going to look at adding some shares and maybe selling some puts down here. No doubt. And then we have uh, Yi asking about Apple for a potential swing trade. So I'll be honest with you, most of the time I would say yes and I'd look at Apple for a potential swing, but with earnings coming up and this like huge selling pressure with big tech stocks, I don't think it's a smart move right now. Like yes, Apple's a solid company, but with the current market conditions, I don't think that's a smart move swinging Apple. You know, honestly, definitely not to the upside. And like, even for a play to the downside, it's just like, I wouldn't say it's an A plus setup. Yeah, me either. If anything, I would like it more to the downside, but 
like Mike said, it's just, it's really hard to short a stock like Apple. I would rather short something else in the market, maybe even just the spy, you know, sometimes you can get some pretty good plays on that, but either way, I feel like that, uh, Apple definitely looks like it's starting to turn over a little bit. I still like it for the long term, but you're right. Like in the short term, it, it seems like it might start to pull back just a little bit here. True that. So Tom, do you have any last one that plays or anything for tomorrow? You know, one thing I still wanted to go over today was TSM. They had a huge explosion early in the morning today with their earnings. Looks like the earnings went pretty good, but that market started dragging them right back down. And I just wanted to point this out because I know a lot of people are going to probably try to play um, some of these bank earnings, maybe either tomorrow morning, or maybe they're swinging some calls overnight tonight. But either way, looking at it, you know, just be really careful. Like we saw with TSN, they had a huge move up this morning. And as soon as they established that upper resistance around 145, they took a pretty big tumble. So just uh, keep this in mind for those bank earnings tomorrow. They might not be as explosive as people want, especially with the market down. Here we go. And don't forget, if you trade options, definitely check out that first link in the description and the comments down below for daily options, swing trades, day trades, and access to a great community. Uh, like I said, daily plays and the boss been doing pretty well. We have a coupon running and you can cancel at any time. But other than that, thanks for watching.